एक कोशिश ये रही है बम्बई में कुछ आंदोलन भी हुए कुछ रैलियां भी निकली अडानी के खिलाफ कि ये इतना बड़ा कांड है वैश्विक स्तर का भारत का तो ही मगर ये वैश्विक स्तर का कांड है इसको डिकोड कैसे करे इसको डिकंस्ट्रक्ट कैसे करे आम लोगों की भाषा में इसको कैसे समझाए हम लोग 24 तारीख को हमारी पद यात्रा थी चौबीस जनवरी को जब हिंडन की रिपोर्ट निकली थी नफरत छोड़ो भारत जोड़ो के नाम से जो हमारे आंदोलनों की एक यात्रा चली थी तो ये जब गुड न्यूज आया था कि इंडियन बग रिपोर्ट के बाद 25 तारीख से ये शेयर मार्केट उसके गिरने लगे तो जैसे हम लोग क्रिकेट मैच का स्कोर कार्ड फॉलो कर रहे थे वैसे ही रोज शेयर मार्केट का पाँच लाख गिरा दस लाख गिरा सात नंबर से बीस नंबर पे आ गया वगैरह वगैरह चल रहा था तो एक खुशी का मा, माहौल भी था क्योंकि इसमें और एक बात बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कि एक तो मोदी का क्या रोल है ये पूरे अडानी के कांड में वो परंजो और रवि बताएंगे और दूसरा ये केवल एक कांड नहीं है ये राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा का भी सवाल इट इज अबाउट आर सॉवरिटी हमारे संप्रभुता का भी सवाल है कि जिस कंपनी को हमारे पूरी की पूरी संपत्ति देश के नेशनल रिसोर्सेज और हमारी पूरी संपत्ति बेची जा रही है वेर आर एग्जिट एंड एंट्री पॉइंट वेर आर पोर्ट्स एंड एयरपोर्ट्स आर इंक्रीजिंगली अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ अडानी देन वी कैन इमेजिन वॉट्स हैपनिंग वे वी नो दैट गुजरात इज टूडे द लार्जेस्ट entry point for exit of drugs into this country and there is no uh, inquiry worth the name to ye kaand ko hum jaise aandolan kari aur karyakarta kaise samjhe we came across some new terms terms like ground tripping kal ek baithak thi jahan paranjoy aur ravi ne aur bhi baaton ko humko samjhaya tha what i've understood this kaand is it's a very simple five stage operation or a four stage operation first is they it it involves cooking up your books or accounts and for that the adanis have a firm called shar dhandaria which has some level employees with 24 23 year old boys are running that audit company and they are the ones who settle uh, the adani accounts so one is cooking up of the books that leads to the manipulation in the share market so the prices increase through various of the offshore companies that pump in money from offshore into the markets out here into the adani companies pumping up the prices and in or wo share ke samne fir wo lic sbi foreign institutional banks wagera se loan uthate hain aur wapas offshore companies mein jaate hain aur it becomes a total ponzi scam a pura ek chakravyu a ground tripping unhone ek kar diya tha usme मतलब वो इनोमिटी की अगर हम लोग कुछ नंबर्स देखे नोटबंदी के दौरान नोटबंदी नहीं था वो नोट बदली थी तो नोट बदली के दौरान 18.5 लाख करोड़ की बात थी कि वो इतनी नोट हमारे देश में जिसके लेकर उनको करना था तो अडानी का जो मार्केट शेयर है मार्केट वैल्यूएशन है दैट वॉज 19 लाख करोड़ वेन द इंडियन बर्ग रिपोर्ट के माउंट टूडे इट एज गॉन डाउन टू हाफ दैट वैल्यू अराउंड 8 lakh or 9 lakh crores that's what it has gone down to but prior to the hindenburg report already ravi nayar and paranjo had written about these offshore companies about the entire scam when paranjo uh, when ravi did the story in 21 for at least 3 days the uh, adani's shares slumped to about by 17% he had already done his job but that story then went past but abhi kahi videsh se aaya hai to pura desh jaag chuka hai puri duniya jaag chuki so then we we'll also get to know that the role of adani in sri lanka in bangladesh in israel and how in, including australia how modi has ensured that the funds come the governments agree the corporations agree and the stories from bangladesh bangladesh ka headline news hai where ravi and paran joy on the tv screens every day but there's not a line over but how the how the bangladesh people are paying three times more than that they should be paying after after ravi broke that story today bangladesh is firmament and the entire power purchase agreement is being renegotiated because of their efforts the other point is that today we heard about the supreme court calling the cbi to give the report within two months uh, i am wondering what will happen uh, because the sebi may pass a few remarks here and there but finally will they settle with a few fines because adani is very happy adani is saying the truth shall prevail and we know what adani's truth is 
so uh, the jpc demand is not being met the sebi supreme court inquiry is welcome but then it will also require a lot of public pressure from andolans from political parties to ensure that it is on the on track and the other worrying part was also the lic and the sbi where ordinary people's money was put into the, put into these banks so now where do people invest the money where do people go that is a big question for ordinary uh, people i'll just end with a few remarks and i really don't want to say much because today it's we we come here to your paranjoy and uh, and ravi okay essentially it is very clear that modi is involved in this scam it wouldn't be happening without him if you look at the this book by ravi nair and paranjoy is just uh, mind blowing actually the cover itself i'll just read the cover the rafael deal flying lies question mark the role of prime minister narendra modi in india's biggest defense scandal this is the cover you can imagine what they are writing okay and until now both of the journalists were facing a gag order especially paranjoy was uh, we know what happened to him in epw or oh, he just last <laughs> but he's still here it's good, it's good for us yeah so the kind of attacks on the media the kind of attacks on honest journalists who refuse to be sold out who refuse to bend over so we have some handful of journalists left in this country we have niranjan takle of our state but we also have we are, i think we are honored to have paranjoy and ravi with us today the other point is coming to the sebi matter i mean the names that came up in the hindenburg report actually hindenburg report is basically built upon the research done by ravi and paranjoy it that that's really the reality of the hindenburg report but coming back to the uh, sebi issue and even the hindenburg report the ketan parek scam the people involved with ketan parek the, the, the people involved with jatin mehta the entire diamond lobby from palanpur that is involved in this round tripping and these ponzi scams they are all currently working with the adanis you have rajesh doshi you have vidod adani who is actually the kingpin in cyprus and they tell a talk about nationalism so vinod adani is actually the brain the elder brother is actually the brain who is handling this entire operation this entire offshore companies 38 of them i believe and uh, from abroad so the point comes that in 2005 2007 in that period sebi had done an inquiry into the diamond operations of the adani companies and that time they clearly found them guilty and for 2 years they were banned from operating that is what the sebi can actually do so again as i say that the the scam is there it needs to be exposed further it can actually bring down this government as it has brought down the upa to government that is the enormity of the scam because this current government is the most corrupt government that we've had in independent india the corruption is not seen but the corruption is known in karnataka they like take 40% commissions but as long as you are part of that rss bjp setup you can get away with murder you can get away with corruption so the responsibility on the andolans on political parties on in investigative independent journalists this entire team that has come together is what i believe is where we should be sitting down together and planning the strategy here but today is the time to understand the scam and that is where we are i thank you